What's going on guys, today we're going to walk through creating a reset filters button in Power BI. Now we're going to do this in two different ways. Firstly we'll create a button that resets all the slices on the page, then one where we can choose which slices to reset in case we want to keep some of them set to their current values. Now it's worth bearing in mind that I'm using the June 2020 version of the software, so this may differ slightly for you depending on which version you have. So the first thing we want to do is obviously create the button. Now the best way to do this is to start by creating a text box and we'll call this reset filters. We'll just resize it here very quickly and drag it to a reasonable spot and we will center that text as well. And then in addition to that we just want to create a rectangle around the text box We'll remove the fill so that the text is showing behind it. Just drag it over the top like that. And then we also want to click this action here on the right hand side and we'll come back to that later. Next up is to create a bookmark with the filters in their reset position. So in our case, we've got a continent and a store slicer here and we can obviously drill down on those as we please. But for this, we want them both to be and not selected at all so from here we'll go to view and bookmarks and then we'll click add to create a bookmark here now we can rename this bookmark as we please I'm just going to call it filters reset and what we can do from here is just go back to this rectangle that we chose earlier go back to this action give it a bookmark action and point it to the filters reset bookmark. Now what this will do is if we've got any of these selected then we just control click to use the uh, the button on Power BI desktop we'll see that they get reset back to their original state. Now that's all well and good if we want to reset all of the slices on the current page but there are going to be situations where that's not the case. We'll see on the second tab here so we've got pretty much the same setup apart from we've also got a date filter at the top. I've set up this second button here to clear uh, all of the filters on the current page using this filters reset to bookmark. Now if we set the store, the continent and the date and then press the reset filters button we'll see that all three are getting reset. Now that's not what we want to happen. So if we get rid of this bookmark here very quickly just press the uh, the three dots and then delete to get rid of that uh, bookmark there. Now from here what we need to do is select all of the slices that we want to reset when we press that button. So in this case this is just going to be the store and the continent. So if we click the store and then control click the continent to select them both then when we go into the bookmarks and we press add and we'll call this filters reset to again. But this time when we click the three dots we have the option to set it to be selected visuals. Now you'll see on the tooltip here it says apply changes only to the visuals that were selected when the bookmark was added or updated. Now for us we obviously had the continent and the store selected when we created this bookmark. So hopefully what will happen now is that when we press the reset filters button and we obviously have to hook this up to the correct bookmark first now if we change the date and we change the continent and let's pick a store as well when we click this reset filters button you'll see that the date doesn't actually change and it's only changing the continent and the store values now this is perfect for dashboards where people want to for example, set a custom date uh, to see certain data. They don't want that resetting. They just want to keep it as the same date as it always was. So hopefully you found that useful. Do let me know in the comments below if you plan to use this. And also let me know what you'd like to see next. But for now guys, it's until next time. See you soon.